The day was Thursday, 29th February 2024, when State Minister for Lands, Dr. Sam Mayanja, visited and addressed locals in Kayunga district. He proclaimed the purported non existence of Bajo Forest Reserve and directed National Forestry Authority to vacate the area. But the line minister in charge of environment, Beatrice Atim Anuar, seems to rescind the minister's decision. Bacho Forest Reserve is a gazetted um, uh, forest reserve since 1968. Um, it has been, and it was regazetted again in 1998, and uh, it is under our custody. Yes, it was uh, degraded, because originally there was a real forest. Degraded. About four years ago, this matter came to parliament, raised by Kayunga District 2 man member of parliament, Aida Nantaba. She cited encroachers who were destroying the whole forest. This prompted a directive by the then speaker, Rebecca Kadaga, for the line minister to inspect the place. This is what she found. Over 20 tractors assembled and we have seen um, sugarcane growing, going on. But uh, the issue is in court. So we cannot indulge so much in issues which is in court. So we hope that uh, the Minister for Environment, having uh, observed and seen everything that is happening, uh, is going to to issue an order to these restraining these brothers from taking over forest land. Four years after this intervention, Anuar is disappointed by the move recently made by her fellow minister. He has cancelled the NFA uh, 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 Central uh, uh, Bajor Forest Reserve title there and then as a minister of state for, for lands. It, it is sad. There are procedures we took to gazette and such reserve, uh, forest reserves, and there are procedures that we take if we so wish to degazette it. You just don't stand up. He has no power over that. It is on record that 18 illegal land titles were created within Bajo Forest Reserve. National Forestry Authority is seeking to overturn this illegality with eight court cases currently pending against encroachers. The community should not be misled to go and invade the, the forest reserve because they are going to be held responsible and we actually are going to prosecute them. Against this backdrop, Minister Anwar is calling upon all stakeholders to work together in protecting the environment. A gazetted forest reserve when left and given time, it will regenerate. We have already a program as a, as a ministry under NFA where we have collaboration with the communities around these forest reserves that such an area, we give them even an opportunity to be part of those who are regenerating the forest. A study by Treescape Planet, a not-for-profit initiative, indicates that from 1921, to 2021, Uganda lost 41% of its forest cover. It was a total deviation from 1900 when Uganda's forest cover stood at 54%, which makes efforts for forest conservation more than needed. Henry Okrut, UBC.